Hey, it's me, Tarek here, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the most important resources to humanity, and that is time. Time is one of the few resources on this planet that we have an equal amount of. We all have the same 24 hours a day, but what we do with those 24 hours is what makes us different. Time, just like any resource on this planet, requires proper management. Proper management of time can tell us a lot about ourselves. Time is one of the biggest influences in our decisions. It's also one of our biggest influences in our development. How we use our time expresses how we want to spend our days. Time is completely in our control. Whatever we are doing right now, we are choosing to do. Like me right now, filming this video, I am choosing to film this video because I am choosing to do this with my time. Time is one of the most important resources that we have a very limited amount of, so proper management of time can be very important. And today, I am going to be talking about three things that I learned about time management that has helped me think of time in a very different way. The first thing I want to talk about is one of the most important rules that I learned about time management, and that is that time management is a lifelong learning process because life never stays the same and our schedules never stay the same either. And we have to find a time management process that we can easily refine because if we find a time management process that's very concrete and that's very hard to refine, then it's very hard to manage our time properly. We need to find a time management process that is very flexible, that we can actually flex in order to fit our changes in our schedules. Think of like your time management process as like a piece of clay. Every time you get a new task or a new thing that you have to do, you have to adjust that piece of clay to fit that task. So you have to like adjust that process in order to fit that new task that you're doing. Because again, nothing stays the same. Maybe this process works for a certain task, but it might not work for another task. So we have to get used to either making up a new process or using our old process and adjusting it to fit our new process. Again, time management is a lifelong skill. Everyone always has new things that they have to do and new priorities that they must face and adjusting their time management skills is very important in order to do that because again, time never stays the same. The second thing I want to talk about is this rule called the 80-20 rule. And the 80-20 rule is a rule once you learn how it works properly, you can save yourself so much time because the 80-20 rule states that 20% of our efforts equals 80% of our outputs meaning that 80% of our results that we get from our projects are 20% of the focus effort that we put in. 20% of the effort that we put in is very focused effort, meaning that we are fully focused and we are fully motivated to get our project done, which equals 80% of our results. And this rule can actually be flipped. 80% of our efforts equals 20% of our results. The reason why is because 80% of our efforts, our focus is very limited. We can only focus for a very, very, very short amount of time. And once that focus is gone, we can get distracted by other outside distractions, especially that we live in a world where it's very easy to get distracted nowadays. Most of that distraction will block off our focus and our project won't get done the way that we want it to. It will only get done 20% of the time the way we want to. And this rule is very important because it states that sometimes in order to tackle a really big project, more time isn't always the issue. It's always giving yourself less time because then in that less period of time, you actually focus and that focus helps get done that project efficiently. And I realized this rule because I used to give myself so much time to do an assignment or a project and that a big amount of time built up a lot of stress inside of me and a lot of distractions. But when I give myself a less amount of time and a very, very close deadline, I usually get that project done efficiently and very fast because I am at my 20% focus level. Now, every human being has different levels of focus and keeping in mind how long we can focus for can really help us manage our time properly and get done those really big tasks that we have to do. The final thing that I want to talk about time management is about Parkinson's law. Parkinson's law goes hand in hand with the 80-20 rule and it states that work expands to the time allowed for it. So for example, say I give myself a week to film a video. It will take me exactly a week to finish the video. 
But if I give myself for the same video three days to get it done, it will take me three days to get done the video. Because Parkinson's law, just like the 80-20 rule, states that our focus is very limited and we must spread out our focus over time in order to get a project done efficiently. And the more time that we spread out our focus, the more that we lose it. The meaning that the more that we lose our focus, the less we can get our project done faster and more efficient. So giving ourselves less time is actually much better than giving ourselves extra time because then we actually have more focus and more motivation to do our project. If we give ourselves too much extra time, it takes us 10 times longer to do the project and also procrastination and loss of focus and even loss of motivation can occur. Parkinson's law and the 80-20 rule is a very life-changing rule. And it's a rule that I'm still trying to learn to this day. I mean, again, time management is a lifelong learning process and we have to adjust our process of time management depending on whatever task or whatever project we're working on. And I hope you enjoyed this video about time management. And again, I am a lifelong learner of time management, so I will never truly stop learning about time management, and I will probably have some new points in the future to share about. I hope you enjoyed my video, and thank you for watching.